Hello. It's time for a new lick for a New Orleans piano, but you can also again use it for blues and boogie. I call it the sixth. Hard for me to pronounce as a German. Um, of course, this interval is a minor sixth. And I play the lick for you. Um, can you see everything here? Well, uh, let me move it a little bit more here. Okay. Yes. More. Okay. Here we have the E and the C. And now we play the six up. And so I think now we got it. Yes, that's better. Okay. Again in slow. It's these here, then these, then these, 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 and backwards. It sounds very sweet, very harmonious. I play it in context. Is that yes that's just the same on F you can transpose it literally just uh, up to F it's again from the view of F this is the major third again and the root it's always the same it's also in G it's the same so again in action try variations especially rhythmic variations don't just play that 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 like I just did but try or 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 there and the variations uh, every lick is just an idea um, it's a stem cell if you want so from where you go with your own rhythmical ideas don't play it always the same way it's boring while we have time i'll show you another close relative to the sixth lick um well uh, i call it the third lick um it's the same same way just not with the sixth but with the third starting from here in c major again it sounds very harmonious and thirds, thirds always sound nice. So. You can even extend it on another third. Now we are here, right? E and G. Now we have F and A. That's an old friend of ours from this lick. Yeah, so we can extend the third here. know it from some um, from the second part of the clue uh, by Scott Joplin the entertainer um, okay so now we can mix and again F here the third and F same structure Again in slow, tap, tap, and in G it's this. So, practice a lot and uh, find the right finger setting. This is not easy, the finger ring I think it's called. Because you have to somehow um, tie those. It doesn't sound like a nice... Uh, I use this finger setting. This way I can uh, have the upper voice giving the expression that it's tied. I played legato, yeah? And so on. Have fun practicing it. Do it a lot because it has to show up in your playing and 
you have to have 150% at least at home to integrate it in your next gig. Okay, see you soon. Thanks for joining. Bye.